Welcome back. Hillary Clinton speaking out on the Mueller probe again with a new op-ed in the Washington Post. And her interpretation is a little different than the attorney general's. Hmm. Carly Shimkus with Fox News Headlines 24-7, Sirius XM 115, here with how social media is responding. And I, I was just so excited to see Hillary talk about this. I've All right. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure a lot of people read it there, Todd. So Hillary Clinton doubling down on calls to investigate the president in a Washington Post op-ed, the president's former political rival came out swinging, writing, quote, our election was corrupted, our democracy assaulted, our sovereignty and security violated. This is the definitive conclusion of special counsel Robert Mueller's report. Nobody but Americans should be able to decide America's future. And unless he's held accountable, the president may show even more disregard for the laws of the land and the obligations of his office. Uh, Clinton is urging lawmakers not to rush to an up or down decision on uh, impeachment and rather conduct a more long form investigation and whether his indiscretions ro rise to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors. But her, her advice is falling on deaf ears to those who remember that she was recently the subject of an FBI investigation that some say let her off the hook. So radio host Larry Elder writes this, quoting her, I think there is enough there that any other person who had engaged in those acts would certainly have been indicted she ought to know. Hashtag Hillary privilege. JR on Twitter chiming in with saying, I don't disagree with Hillary Clinton, but surely she must realize this plays directly into the GOP's narrative that Mueller and potential impeachment were just sour grapes over a lost election. Gabriel also saying, nobody but Americans should be able to decide America's future. Glad to see Hillary supporting the wall in census citizenship questions. So a lot of people were watching Hillary Clinton's Twitter account to see her reaction. She decided to first speak about it and then write this Washington Post op-ed. Interesting. Uh, speaking of people who should probably uh, sit this one out, the cast of Empire. The cast of Empire, yeah, they want Jussie Smollett to return to the show. So some of the lead actors wrote uh, this letter to network executives saying, quote, we have come to know not just the character Jussie portrays, but also truly come to know Jussie's personal character. He is honest, and above all, he is filled with integrity. Together as a united front, we stand with Jussie Smollett and ask that our co-star brother and friend be brought back for our sixth season of Empire. So that letter was signed by six key actors, including Terrence Howard, Taraji P. Henson. This after Lee Daniels, the co-creator of the show, said that the fate of Jesse Smollett on the, future, on the show is up in the air. So you know that that letter is going to spark some social media reaction. This person says Jesse Smollett is honest, except for the whole, quote, staging a fake hate crime thing. Another person <laughs> saying, Richard says, are you sure Jesse just didn't pen the letter? He's pretty good at writing them. That, of course, uh, a reference to the allegation that he sent a threatening letter to himself. The FBI now investigating that. That one wins, man. We'll see how that plays out.